So yeah, this is a bit of a reversal from last time. You, instead of going to enemy territory, they're coming to you this time, right? Even though, yeah. You know, it's a bit of a trek across Canada, right? Yeah, no, I love it. I mean, yeah, fighting in Canada is always awesome. But yeah, I moved to Vegas recently, but okay. yeah, so I'm coming back to Canada, which is nice. Interesting. We'll get to that in a sec. Um, when they offered you Moncton, I mean, I'm from Vancouver originally. Yeah. Toronto. Oh, nice. When I heard UFC was coming to Moncton, I was like... Didn't really know where Moncton was, didn't know too much about it. What was your reaction when you heard your name on this card? Uh, well, when I heard that there was going to be a card here, I asked to be on this card because it's Canada. And I hadn't heard of Moncton before either. It's kind of a small town, but it's really nice. Uh, the people here are super friendly. And, yeah, I'm excited to be back in Canada. I've never been this far east. Mm, yeah. So uh, you moved to Vegas. When did that happen? Yeah. I moved there uh, beginning of June. Okay. So. What was the motivation for doing that? Um, I wanted to switch up camps, I, and then uh, the UFC PI is there, so I've I've been able to like have a nutritionist work with me. I've had physical therapy, and like yeah, it's been awesome. And then my gym's just awesome. Yeah. So which gym are you working at? I'm at Extreme Couture right now. And what's just the the vibe like? Is it kind of what you were expecting and wanting to get in there? Did you spend some time there before like making the move? What was kind of the, the ultimate decision making? Yeah, I actually never went there before. I came there like I knew there were a few other options if I needed them, but I had a good idea that I wanted to be at Extreme. And then from the very first class, Dennis has been just awesome, just so so technical, so smart, so like. I was just learning new stuff that I had never seen before, and he just worked with me right away when I got here. He wasn't pushy or anything. He just, you know, wanted to show me new stuff, and I just fell in love with the gym right away. Is it, is it difficult to make a change like that? I mean, you kind of know one environment for so long, and then you kind of go into something foreign and new? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very different. And then also, like, moving from Canada to the U.S. required a lot of extra steps that aren't usually involved in moves, but uh, we made it work, and I'm so happy that I did it. So it's been you know, since June, a few months now. Um, just tell yeah. me about how you're feeling, what you feel, the kind of progression you've made. Since um, so in my last fight, I broke my foot, and I wasn't like really allowed to be on it much for four months, and I put on quite a bit of weight. And so uh, they, they've had challenge, well, like it, was, it wasn't the easiest for them to work with me at the beginning. And, you know, everyone put so much time into me, put so much effort into me. And I feel like I'm in the best shape I've ever been in, even though I started from like the worst shape I've ever, ever been in. So it's just been such a great progress this whole time. I just, I'm just loving it and I'm happy. Like I'm, I'm really happy now. Yeah, was it just uh, like the way it was just because you weren't able to like run and stuff on your foot or was there like, you know, outside stuff that filtered in as well just because it oh. revolved around that? Yeah, yeah, a bit of both. And then also just like the process of moving to another country and then trying to do that all while you have a broken foot is is a little not so easy, you know, packing and everything like that as well. But, you know, I made it work. Yeah, and you got through it. And, I mean, do you feel, how do you feel, you know, sitting here today? Are you kind of grateful for all those the things you had to go through? Um, you know, like, it, it was really hard, a lot of the stuff that I went through. But it all, it all made it worth it in the end. And without some of the stuff that I went through, I might not have made the decision that I made to move here. And I'm so happy that I made this decision. So... Yeah, I'm super excited. Was there about to get like too negative or anything, but was there like a lowest point during that stretch that stands out to you that you <laughs> kind of like call back on? Um, like, yeah, but I, yeah, <laughs> there was. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd rather not, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so who's like the main people you've been working with uh, in terms of training partners? Training partners? Like, so Dennis Davis is my coach. He's been like super awesome. And then I've been working with uh, Trent and Christian and Ethan have been like my main training partners. They've been super awesome. And then, yeah, yeah, the, I've been mostly working with them because they're, they're closer to my size and they've just been great. I've been, you know, I kind of owe them something for <laughs> after this because they've taken a bit of a beating from me. I'm not, I'm not the nicest training partner. 
So you talk to some fighters who switch camps, and you know, for maybe the first camp at the new gym, it's you know all focused about themselves and you know getting integrated and stuff, rather than yeah. like you know hyper specific game planning and stuff. Is that how it's been for you? Just like all the focus for this camp has been kind of on making this adjustment and feeling this. Best you, can. Go ahead. Um, you know, I, I thought it would be like that, but I actually have more of a game plan than I've ever had before. I've had more attention on me than I've ever had before. And, you know, I, I feel like I fit in. Like, I've, I really feel like this is my home now in Vegas. And I'm just, yeah, I just love going to the gym. I love, like, I hate weekends because I don't get a train. So I'm like always looking forward to Mondays and yeah, I'm just loving it. I learn something new in every single class and I'm able to work it into my game, which is just, yeah, it's, it's like just starting it again and just finding that love again. So it's been awesome. That's nice. So when you get this matchup, is this just, did it not matter? Like you just wanted to be on this card and you said, get me whoever? Um, I, I didn't really say get me whoever, but, um, yeah, uh, once they once they told me who, I just messaged Dennis and let him know, and we both thought it was a good matchup for me, so we accepted it. How do you see it going down? Um, you know, I'm always like I'm a bit of an aggressor. I always look for a finish. I never want it to go to decisions, so I'm hoping for a finish. Yeah, what do you kind of just make of this weight class right now? I mean, obviously Amanda's going up to fight Chris. Uh, yeah. Who knows when she'll be back down to defend her title? Like, when you kind of look at things, is it hard to? kind of map out a climb to the top when you don't really know what's going uh -huh. on up there? You know, where I am right now and with the contract I'm in right now, I'm, I'm really looking forward to like building and building at my gym and getting a few more fights in before I think about a title fight. So as much as, much as that's my goal, I want to do it smart and I want to get there. I want to get there when I'm ready to get there and I want to get a lot more experience in the cage before I, <laughs> I fight her. Right. How do you think Amanda does against Chris? I think she wins. Yeah. yeah. I, so. I, think, I think she's tough, and I think she's had tougher opponents than Cyborg has. So I think, yeah, I think a lot of people underestimate her, but she's fought at 45 before. And, yeah, she's a beast. So I think people are taking her lightly when they shouldn't. And you can go watch her right now that you're in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, I actually asked for tickets to it, so I'm crossing my fingers that I get them.